I'm uh, Franz Rosen. I, um, I started in info security like when I started with bug bounties. So I, I, I've never done any like pen testing work or anything. Like I started as a developer and uh, I noticed that bug bounties were popping up. And it was like these first companies starting their own programs. And, and that was my first introduction to actually trying out to break stuff. And I had a couple of friends and they, um, they showed me what to do and like how to do it. I think, I think uh, these uh, on-spot hacking events are absolutely the future. Like I've been, I've been seeing so many good things come out of it. Being able to meet the hackers, being able to hang out with the company uh, and like get developers to meet hackers. And, and collaborate together with other people that you've never collaborated with before, meet them. But I also think like, that, that virtual, being able to like, hack from home on an event specific together with a bunch of people, focusing on one target only, is a, is a really cool thing. And I think that's going to be pretty big, like having all the people focus on one specific target and make a happening out of it. Maybe share knowledge on bugs that was found during the event. Maybe uh, have people talk about them just after they were found. Uh, disclosing bugs together in that kind of context. So you have like people invited all over the world and as soon as something is found, they actually talk about it together with these people so people don't waste time. If you have the curious mind, you could always utilize that to, uh, to uh, explore new things. And what I've been giving to, uh, to like, new people joining is, of course, like a bunch of material to read. Like there's a bunch of good books like Web Hacking 101 by, by Peter Worski. And there's a bunch of these uh, material that like, can get you started. But it all also comes down to like, try to approach things Differently, think differently. No, but it's more like like maybe look at um, frameworks that are being used uh, nowadays that are popular now that ha haven't been able to like nobody has maybe looked into the security part of it. Look at IPFS because it sounds like a hyped thing, or look at like how DNS over HTTPS. Like look at all these new technologies that comes out and approach it with like a security mindset. Um, it sounds really hard maybe, but it's more of like look at how the history repeats itself like you have a bunch of history look at like php everybody thinks php is broken but you have like almost like 15 years of history where a lot of people a lot of things were a lot of bugs were found approach the same mindset to maybe node and look at how how node behaves on the same issues that was introduced in php because whenever you create like a new framework you forget a bunch of history or the legacy of why things was done in the way they were done before like having that th kind of mindset and like me coming from a developer perspective it's always about okay can you make maybe make the application run locally because if you can make it run locally you can maybe test out a bunch of things yourself without not knowing what's happening on the other side so having that ability to like i can actually get this application to run on my own computer is a really valuable thing i think that's uh, that has helped me a lot and also to understand like what is going on here like why is this happening when you're doing this and that has been a way for me to to actually understand that but yeah i would say like read and try to get at least some knowledge around how code works or how to run code